Hi, I'm Shannon from the band Doik with Small in Bed. Okay, Shannon. I have some questions for you here. Can't wait. As someone who is only really famous in your own little DIY area, don't you feel disappointed and slightly ashamed when you tour or go home to visit and nobody knows who the fuck you are? Uh, um, <laughs> uh, no, I not really. But I don't really expect people to know who I am most of the time. It's always like a surprise when someone recognizes me. That's probably a good way to go about it. Yeah. I try to keep my expectations, like, I mean, you'll, you'll most likely never become famous, so at least you... Thanks. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you just said you wanted to keep it real, <laughs> so... Uh, all right, so next question. Mm -hmm. As a vegan musician, do you find it harder for venues and other bands to take you seriously? Uh, it's, I've never gotten those vibes before, personally. That's kind of shocking. No, like, no one really brings up my diet because I'm not like one of the vegans that announces it to people generally. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I told you. This, but... this interview isn't about me. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, like, do you ever get scared that you're going to get pig blood or slabs of meat thrown at you because non-vegans don't take you seriously? I do live in constant fear of that. Um, but... Has it ever happened? Um, <laughs> not yet, but... Um, yeah. That could actually make you famous if it did, though. I think that would be the only way I would become famous. <laughs> so if you, anyone wants to throw a pig's blood at me next time I perform, um, as long as pigs don't... If you even, like, virus. actually stumble upon a wake but still in bed in concert. Probably you will, yeah. We never play shows. As, we never tour. As a singer-songwriter... Almost in their 30s, writing stereotypical early 2000s emo, basically for little 13-year-old girls, exactly how ashamed are you of yourself? Like, on a scale of um, 1 to 10. I'm very ashamed of myself, but not for the reasons you said. Um, wow, that's very vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, this is a still all you know, interview. Very formal. Exclusive <laughs> inside scoop. Inside scoop with um, with Shannon. <laughs> How does it feel when after a set and the other bands want to party, but you tell them no because you're straight edge and they laugh in your face? <laughs> um. Well, they don't laugh in my face. They laugh behind my back. So I don't know what it's like yet. Um, waiting for someone who has the courage to laugh in my face. But. Um, mostly I just go to sleep. Yeah. Legally have to be playing. Your bedtime's at like what? Like eight? Like ten. And yeah, most of the time I'm like, I'm passed out on the couch while everyone's hanging out talking shit about me. So, um, maybe one night I'll stay up so I can hear them laughing at me. But until then, I don't know how it feels yet. When that happens, um, I will contact you for a little mini interview just so that we can discuss specifically. Yeah, that sounds really good. Do you really think you can build a serious music career by opening for bands that make music only for 35-year-old guys who still cry over their ex from high school while living with their mom and lesbians? No, but it, I'm going to keep trying. It's good. It's good. Um, other than that, what is your advice for the 50 million other stupid bucks trying to make it in your genre? Um, don't expect anything or, like, try too hard. Like, it's um, just assume that no one will care about your band, but, um, and don't try too hard to make people care when they don't. If they, if people are going to care they will, and you can't make them. 
Um, and that, you know, is something that I have to tell myself too, because I don't, I think it's, it's going to be organic or it's not going to be organic, you know? So like I, I, we don't like get hype most of the time when we like announce tours or whatever. It's just like, Oh cool. And like people sometimes come and sometimes they don't and you just kind of have to roll with the punches. Wow. That was deep. That was, uh, yeah. Sage advice from really old person. (laughs) Well, um, I appreciate your vulnerability and complete honesty during this insanely uh, formal interview um, that might help get you on the map. So that was really awesome of you, Shannon, from uh, awake but still in bed. Did I get that correct? Yeah. Is that? Okay. The first time anyone's ever gotten it right. Oh, well, you're welcome. Um, I didn't research you guys or anything before this, so I'm actually kind of shocked that I got it right myself. Thank you for um, having me and on your floor. Well, I mean, like, I didn't really prepare, so. Yes. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for uh, tuning into the very first. Um, I'll leave this on that interview. <laughs> very first uh, Lex Rex the interview um, with Shannon from Awake But Still in Bed. And stay tuned for all the other people that we plan on having that I don't actually have a list of yet.